Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about uh, how to use textiles in Adobe XD. So in order to access textiles it's very easy, you simply have to go on the very uh, left uh, bottom on uh, the assets and uh, you click on it and uh, here you're going to see all the character styles in uh, the uh, file. So if you want to add these uh, new textiles we can simply select them and uh, after we do all the tweaks uh, on uh, the feel and you know whatever option you want to tweak uh, um, you can simply go on the plus you click on it and boom we have uh, all the character styles over here and uh, you can uh, easily access them and um, adjust them so textiles are very very useful because um, uh, they can basically help you to do bulk changes and especially if you're having client revisions and uh, a client says uh, hey uh, i'd like to change uh, the font from uh, one font to this other font or i want to change the sizing or the colors or whatnot you can uh, do these tweaks uh, in uh, multiple screens uh, in a very very quick way so if for example we tweak uh, this uh, uh, Roboto font, you can see that uh, throughout all the uh, screens over here the font is being updated in uh, real time and um, it's uh, very easy. And uh, you can do so for all the textiles, so simply right click and go on the edit and uh, you can uh, literally tweak uh, every single point of the text. So from the font uh, up here to the sizing, to the weight, uh, and uh, you know all the other options that uh, you usually have available in Adobe XD. You can also delete a text style by right-clicking and going on delete. And um, this is going to allow you to make uh, really quick changes in uh, a very short uh, amount of time. And um, yeah, it's just something that uh, I really encourage you to use because uh, it will, uh, it's a habit that uh, once you have it, you're going to do changes in a very quick and short amount of times. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any question about textiles or Adobe XD in general, just uh, drop a comment below and uh, I'll